Hello again, everyone. Edwin Lerner back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I'm going to be dissertating and talking about what some may consider a touchy subject, and it's going to be about, in my opinion, what I feel is the craziest zodiac sign. And what I'm talking about is this, I mean, I mean it in a very uh, strong literal sense. Crazy, okay, when I looked this up previously, I got a definition online that said crazy is, quote, mentally deranged, especially as manifested in a wild or aggressive way. So I'm really, and then when, when I looked, there's another definition that says just mentally deranged. What I'm saying is, is that really the, the craziest, when I'm talking about the craziest zodiac sign, I'm talking about the zodiac sign, which I feel in my opinion, has the greatest propensity toward insanity and toward what I was describing before. And really, uh, it's something where, where they, they have the, the proclivity toward a strong mental illness, which could uh, require something strong like hospitalization, or where 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 they're really uh, where they may experience some volatile or un uncontrollable like behavior, and in which could be, as I stated before, with the definition, the wild and, and aggressive behavior. Those are that's basically what I'm going to be talking about and what i want to say before i go any further with this is that we uh, I, I do keep in mind that no, and, and most of you are cognizant and aware of this that most people are not crazy and the sign that i feel has the greatest propensity toward this is not most most of those people under that sign are not crazy and i i am aware of that and it's just based on the, the nature of the sign, which is why I feel that particular sign would be, uh, have most susceptibility toward that, toward craziness, I guess you could say, toward insanity. Uh, the thing is, is that this does apply and pertain, of course, to the sun, moon, and ascendant. So anyway, uh, let, me, let me get started. Now, the thing is, uh, let me, I'm going to go through the signs and then I'm going to go... On the last but not least, I will reveal the, and disclose the sign that I feel has the greatest propensity toward uh, toward the, toward becoming crazy, and uh, I guess you could say, and in, in, or and or insanity. So, anyway, let me start with Aries. Now, Aries is a sign, okay, which can incline toward acrimonious behavior in a, in a really, you know, a, a very uh, negative manifestation or expression of the sign. However, I don't see this as the sign that it, it would be considered the one that would have the greatest proclivity or tendency toward toward a, a very a strong uh, mental illness or disorder that would uh, which would correlate with being uh, being crazy. So. I think that for for that those reasons, I don't really see Aries as that uh, as that kind of uh, is that sign that would be the one that would be that would be the inclined toward having having that greatest uh, propensity toward craziness. So anyway, I don't think it would be Taurus because Taurus being a fixed sign and, and Taurus is being is very stable and consistent and very uh, persistent nature it's not a sign that generally deviates from from moods from uh it really in any great mood swing or anything that would give a foundation toward having uh toward be toward becoming crazy i don't think the uh, for those reasons i don't see uh taurus as being that sign now gemini is a candidate for this because Gemini could be very vacillating, flighty, and changeable. Gemini could have very strong, erratic uh, behavior, which could lay the foundation for for being, uh, for 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 really being number one in what I'm talking about. But I don't think. But for me, Gemini would not uh, be that sign. Perhaps I I feel because they're safe, given the fact they're an air sign. And I think that that plays a role with Gemini not being at the top of that of that list that has that uh, proclivity toward in insanity or any like a, or anything 
like that. So I think for that, those reasons, I don't see Gemini as being that sign. Now, Leo is a sign that is a fixed sign. Leo can have, uh, I mean, Leo can really express themselves sometimes in an angry way, sometimes in combative manner. Leos can have strong tempers. But I don't equate a strong temper or any great ferocity toward being uh, toward being a, a sign that would be most susceptible toward perhaps becoming becoming uh, crazy. So I think uh, for those reasons, I don't see Leo as that as being that. And Leo also being a fixed sign has certain stability. And Leo can be somewhat excitable and high strung, but I don't see Leo as that sign that would be the one that would have the, the greatest inclination uh, toward any great insanity. So the next sign, Virgo. Well, Virgo is a, is a mutable sign and, and can it really, but it's not, Virgos could be very, they're still being an earth sign. They're very dependable. They could be very consistent like Taurus and Capricorn. Virgo is very pragmatic. They're very down to earth. And I think you have such a reliable temperament. It's not a sign that I would correlate with getting, I guess you could say, the, the number one spot for the, the greatest inclination uh, toward becoming crazy. So I think uh, for those reasons, I would, I would say no. For It would not be Virgo. Now, Libra is very equitable and fair sign and Libra can have a very even temperament. I don't see Libra really deviating much from, from their personality in, in, from day to day. So it really, they, Libra is not the sign that I, uh, I would equate to this either. So I think uh, for Libra, I would definitely say a resounding uh, no. They have a very balanced mentality as well. So for those reasons, I don't see Libra is really getting the top spot, so to speak, as far as what I'm talking about. Now, Scorpio may incline toward maniacal jealousy, but the, but, but maniacal behavior uh, being the most, most frequent of all the signs, I don't, I really don't uh, see. So uh, Scorpio can be intensely emotional. And they could, and, and they being ruled by Pluto and Mars, they have Pluto can be destructive. Mars can be, is really that that volatile planet. So you have a sign that could have certain anger, uh, destructive issues. But as far as uh, as far as being the one uh, most susceptible to to the, to a, some kind of uh, illness that would require some strong, you know. Uh, being in a, in a, I guess you could say a mental institution or, or whatever the people go to that are that are really uh, seen or perceived as insane or crazy, those are, uh, though to me that would not be uh, Scorpio. Now Sagittarius, so go to them. Sagittarius is a, um, a a mutable sign. It can be fickle. Sagittarius can be flighty. They're kind of the meanders of the zodiac. They're wanderers. Their minds can wander too, much like Gemini. But I don't see how uh, this is just not a sign to me that would be one where it would be the one that would incline toward any uh, mental in insanity or, or really or or have that that's that strong susceptibility toward craziness. So I think for those reasons, for because of that. Because Sagittarius, even though it's a mutable sign, they they seem to kind of have that real kind of go with the flow, sometimes not, you know, what me worry type mentality. So that's not a sign that I would say would have the strongest proclivity toward insanity or craziness. So the next sign, Capricorn like Taurus and like Virgo can be very consistent. Capricorns generally don't deviate much as far as their their moods go. 
the Capricorns are very methodical. They're actually, they're really, Capricorns can be seen as undemonstrative and not really very uh, emotional. So to have a lot of times uh, the, somebody being deemed crazy or insane, it's usually, uh, not. I don't know if it's usually, but in many cases, I believe it's a lot of it is an emotional issue that is going on. And because Capricorn is a sign that it really doesn't express their emotions that strongly. I don't really see Capricorn as being that sign. So anyway, I'm gonna to go to Aquarius now. Well, Aquarius can be known for their eccentric and idiosyncratic behavior. They could be rather bizarre. They like to go against the grain and they could be very non-conforming, but that doesn't, I don't see that as equa them equating to being what I would call the, the craziest zodiac sign, is, is, at least is what I'm you know, calling this. And so for those that read, and, and Aquarius is a fixed sign as well, despite a lot of times being radical, they also, they have certain consistency as far as the personality goes. So I don't see them as being the craziest zodiac sign. Now, I'm gonna go to Pisces. Well, Pisces to me, can be a close second to the sign that I'm going to uh, divulge at the end of the video is who I think is the most uh, susceptible to, to really succumbing to, to crazy, to, to becoming crazy. Now, Pisces, their emotions can be all encompassing and they're very, they can be very ambiguous. They're indecisive. They have that strong, they have a very strong sensitivity to extraneous surroundings and being impressionable, but they don't quite, I don't think, hit the number one spot. An argument could be made for Pisces, though, because Pisces does correspond with the 12th house in the Zodiac, and the 12th house is about mental illness, So I, and also is about hospitalization, which can include hospitalization for, uh, for strong mental emotional issues. So, the last, what I'm going to do now is talk about, uh, I'm going to reveal the sign that I think is really the one that is has the greatest propensity toward really uh, toward, toward becoming insane, unfortunately, and, and crazy because of the, a lot of it has to do with the irrational nature of the sign. And that zodiac sign is cancer. I do believe that strongly. Many of you may know I'm a son in cancer, so you could say on some level I'm being objective about this because I'm talking about a sign that is prominent in my own uh, horoscope. Now, I think a lot of this is because I believe, I mean, being the fact, given the fact it is ruled uh, by the moon, there's uh, cancer has, has more of a strong inclination toward emotional instability. They're sensitive to, to really their environment very strongly. And I'm not saying, keep in mind though, I'm not saying that every sun, moon, ascendant, cancer person is, is, is really is going to have insa be insane or anything. I just believe that this sign has a slightly greater propensity toward that uh, than others. This is a sign which I would equate with like, for example, having uh, re really, uh, uh, really, when, when you look at the when you look at cancer, I mean, they would be more susceptible, perhaps, to like the borderline personality disorder, which is the emotionally unstable personality disorder, because cancers, in the worst expression, can can exhibit signs of emotional instability. Cancer is not known to be stable. And I think you, you already have a foundation with cancer because they could be very temperamental. They have strong fluctuations with their moods and it's of an emotional nature as opposed to Gemini. Now, for really, and, and you look at the cancer is also more sensitive, I believe, to the fate, to the changes of the moon, moon to when it changes signs. The moon changes signs approximately every 2.33 days or every two and a third days approximately. And I think cancer is more susceptible to those changes as well. And it, it just that their personality, their, their emotional nature is so vacillating and it fluctuates so much. You have, you have this uh, with cancer very strong. I had someone prominent in my, my life uh, years ago, and I, I mean, she was never classified as, as having one, but I believe she had a very strong uh, nervous breakdown, and she had uh, a cancer ascendant 
and it was at the 29th degree. It was in that anoretic or critical degree, 29th degree of cancer. And I and, she, and it was very strongly afflicted. And she had other uh, can she had her her Saturn in cancer. Uh, I believe that was in the 12th house and she had Mars in cancer that was afflicted as well. So, you know, right, right by sign alone, Saturn in cancer, as many of you may know, it's in its that's in its detriment. Uh, Saturn by by sign and Mars in cancer is, is in its fall by sign. And there were a number of adverse aspects made to it. So you had uh, a lot of that uh, going on in her uh, her moon. And Capricorn had opposed her, her ascendant from the sixth house of health. Saturn was in the twelfth house, and it was conjunct her ascendant on top of that. So she had a lot of things going on with that. So what I'm saying, people, is, is that people that have cancer prominent in their charts, whether it's sun, moon, or ascendant, don't be offended by this video. I'm not stereotyping by any means. I'm just saying that cancer has a little stronger propensity on average, I believe, as opposed to the other 11 zodiac signs to succumb to some strong uh, emotional mental disorder, which could lead to them at least being perceived or, or seen as crazy or, or insane. A lot of people don't use, may not use that word, but that is just the word I'm using to describe what I'm talking about. Well, anyway, people, that'll conclude this YouTube astrological segment. For the craziest zodiac sign, uh, two things I want to get with you on uh, before I head out. Firstly, the stars may impel but do not compel. And secondly, never isolate any single astrological element, aspect, planetary placement, position, configuration, influence, or what have you, and make an analysis of a person, astrologically speaking, based on this alone. Because astrologically speaking, the person is the sum of all their components in their natal chart, and not just one. Until next time, people, stay well.